30. What's up, bro? Wicked, what's up with it? Hey, man, appreciate you for coming and getting boxed in with me, bro. Hey, for those who don't know, bro, let them folks know where you from. And where I'm you from grew Memphis, up. Memphis, Wyoming, Tennessee. Went to us in Millbrand, King Gate Apartment, Venture Apartment. Yeah, there. Man. For some who body that's never been over there, they don't know about a lot of stuff. Tell them how it was growing up over there. Shit, how it was in the area of the hood, just, you know what I'm saying? Just growing up in poverty, you know what I'm saying? Everybody living off food stamp, check to check. You know what I'm saying? You know, violence mm -hmm. in the hood, little kids trying to make it out playing and shit. Mm -hmm. Same in the hood, you know? Who you was raised by, like your mom, dad? I was raised by my mom and dad. Mm -hmm. and like my niggas and shit in the hood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what's up. So, when you was coming up over there, was music something you was thinking about? No, nah, not really. No, nah, not really. H how did that come about? Shit, us just fucking out. Me and Shots just fucking out like 2018, late 2017, shit like that. Mm -hmm. We just made a video sitting on the couch, put it on Facebook, just really trying to get off on the book and shit. And shit, you know what I'm saying? So you made a video on Facebook, you and Shice did. Y'all didn't record the song, y'all just made a Facebook video. A Facebook video first, yeah, we sit on the couch, record off instrument off YouTube. And then... Y'all had never been to a studio? Hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. We were just <laughs> trying to get off on Facebook, get a lot of likes, sharing. So, so that was the plan, you just wanted to turn up we on Facebook? Trying, we were just trying to get off, really. We, that's all, we just, we weren't doing, we just went studying music, that was Chopper Talk. Then fast forward, like... That was Chopper Talk? Yeah, Top of Top really the first song me and Cud ever made. Damn, your first song basically went viral. But that ain't the first song we put out. We ain't put Top of Talk out to like the fourth, fourth, fifth song we ever like in rap. We put out like he had, he had the jump with K Cobb, and then we put Breaking News out, No Vout, my hand, Shot Summer, uh, Hell Night, and then kind of Top of Talk. Oh damn! But really, we been wrote top of top, recorded on video on Facebook and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And then this shit got off. Then we started just fucking out. We just start fucking out, making a little freestyle board in the head, high head. And then we went in the booth, mm -hmm. made the song, shot the video to it. We upload on YouTube. Which one is this? Uh, I think that was breaking news. Breaking news. Mm -hmm. Breaking news. And yeah. then it got like a hundred K a month or some shit like that. Or it, it got a hundred. I just remember getting that hundred K. That's when we knew this shit was serious. Everything see, is see, pop, see, pop, my, my, ball. He been on. He been watching them. He was watching mm -hmm. this shit at ten K all the way to fifty K. But we went studying. We just put it out there, and we were just seeing folks talking about it on the internet, going there recording, and just Memphis for rich folk. And we were just reposting the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like Memphis mm -hmm. folks and shit. Too. I mean Mississippi folks, shit like that also. No, surround the area. Mm -hmm. Then we like, damn, this shit really getting out. Like 100 k a month. Oh, we got to drop again. Mm -hmm. So now, we just, now going so to now the studio. So now it's time to take a series. You know what I'm saying? Now, now going to the studio is something to do now. now. Like, we just add mm -hmm. that to something to do now. Like, when we go outside, do whatever we do, go to a park, whatever we link mm -hmm. up, whatever we do, we put in, we add in the studio and what we doing. Uh -huh. And we just recording songs, shooting the videos to the heart of giant. We just kept dropping because folks started asking for it and wanting it. And actually been a fan of this shit, so a nigga just won from there, and that's how we start catching other folks' eyes and shit. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, and we knew we really can make some money off of it because we we build a fan base. Uh huh. Man, so when y'all put that video out and you seen that reaction, like, what did that do to you? Like, damn, this shit is really. Damn, I like this. Shit. What that? What my cup? Shit. It it was like when we put what breaking news out. Yeah. That shit was like. It was, I told you when we got the hundred K, it was like, damn. Mm -hmm. Like them folks, like right, this shit. Now you know how niggas, you know how long it take for niggas to get a hundred K. I know niggas be happy like hundred K one year. You know what I'm saying? With the a hundred K, niggas be like hundred K six months. Or niggas just be happy to hit the hundred K. Oh man, you hit a hundred K, niggas so, going a party. So that was our first goal. <laughs> it wasn't even no goal. That's just the first thing yeah. we got. Mm -hmm. So boom, we seen that we, we knowing that ain't regular. So yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. We just went there from there. Our goal got from hundred K to you know what I'm a million. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm this mm -hmm. shit, we, we really got it was like from like probably we will go from a hundred K a month to like. 100k a week to 100k a day, mm -hmm. million a month, million mm -hmm. a week, million a day. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. That's how it went. Oh, God. So, can you describe this like the first show you did 
and seeing people singing your song word for word, like what that did to you? Uh, like Memphis wise, it, 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 it's just slick. It shit slick this shit, shit was live here. It was like it was like something a nigga wanna relive, like going back to the beginning, Memphis wide, but like the best feeling when we went out of state and they sung guy shit word for word. Mm -hmm. When we went to like Mississippi across the bridge and they word for word and they talking mm -hmm. like crazy, hollering, fans and shit just going wild about this shit. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about to the point the DJ cutting the beat off. They mm -hmm. acapella and shit early in the career though. Uh -huh. They been doing this shit early. We ain't got them two, three songs to perform. Uh -huh. We like, damn, we gotta get even for more music, bro. Even for on the. Uh -huh. And this how this shit happened. Niggas just start kept on working, perfecting that crowd. It's so crazy. The first time I met you, I walked in my warehouse, and then I was funny. I was just grabbing some shit, and I was running back to the car, and you ran out. And you was like, "Hey, wait, uh, my mileage, bro. I'm thirty. I'll be rapping with Chase. You know what I'm saying? We got the what's name." My yeah. listen to the music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. By the time I got home, I called you. I was like, bruh, this shit's so fucking hard, bro. Oh, God, I sleep, <laughs> I sleep remember that with all my kids. Oh, God, I remember that. Like yeah. you said, we was up here working. You and yeah. me, when I told you, you know, I made no voucher. I didn't even know that. And like you said, you don't normally be up here. Mm -hmm. So like you said, you getting some shit going back to the mm -hmm. car, ran out there like, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? They wicked family, knowing you mm -hmm. big on the music scene in Memphis. Yep. I just was introducing myself to you on shit, you know what yep. I'm saying? Trying yep. to, at that time, trying to make me one of your favorites, so you know what I'm saying? Wicked mm -hmm. can promote my and you shit. Will, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Appreciate yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? I know you got the, your YouTube channel been having the most yeah. subscribe. Like, that's where a nigga want to yeah. drop it. So mm -hmm. I feel like I had to run out there and let you know, like, yeah. you know I'm big 30, bro. Uh -huh. Look, I'm finna meet. And I appreciate yeah. that, man. I'm so, glad I did that, but I, I was a fan. I you remember this shit, though. I remember this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, You just I, put me back in my mind. By the time, time I got the court door, I was a fan. <laughs> <laughs> this shit bumming, cuz. We shit. used to call this shit, me and Shaw, we call this shit SRT music. <laughs> call this shit See, SRT See, nobody knows. Oh, and that's what it is, good dude. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you, like, when I go around the world, people always say, man, bro, I like how shice did. And 30 relationship here, bro. Like, I think y'all made people make look at they nigga look mm -hmm. different. Like, man, dude ain't fucking with me like this. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm with this nigga every day. This nigga won't even yeah. come in on my post. You feel what I'm saying? Can you talk about your relationship a little it bit? It's just like, because our relationship so authentic and like, he seen me at my lords, I seen him at his lords type shit. We was at our lords together, like, mm -hmm. cause I swear to God, cause you can ask any of these young niggas in this room, bro. Before we had a dollar, we been felt like we them niggas, like, we been felt <laughs> like we them young niggas, like, mm -hmm. we been felt like that anyway, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So, it just like, by me seeing him at his lords and shit, and we got this money, it don't even matter, like, he got money and I got money. Like, I still mm -hmm. want to see my nigga smile, so I buy him something. He'll buy me some more. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it just, this shit just authentic and shit. I know nobody don't. You know what I'm saying? We don't never get gifts and shit. Nobody don't ever give us shit. We always the one that got to give and shit. My. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I try to be the one that come through. You know what I'm saying? It just, this shit just authentic, cuz. Our relationship just authentic. Me and dude just. We go, we go way back, and, you know, we ain't never just had no big fallout where we want to hurt each other. You know, everybody, we had a argument up and down, but me and dude, like, me mm -hmm. and dude, you know, we like Shaq and Kobe. For, for sure, dude. For sure. For sure, dude. So I noticed right. something, too, 30. Um, I think the music biz, sometimes you got some people that are just too real for the music biz, yeah. and I think you want to. I think you go in and out of your mood sometimes when you want. You love music, but I don't think you like the other part of it. Yeah. Like, you know what, what you mean about the other part? Be specific. Like, super, like the big business part of it sometimes. We got to do this. And you yeah. know what I'm saying? All that type of stuff. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know what I'm right, saying? Right. It'd be a lot come with it sometimes. Just, just by you being on the outside looking in, you, you, you kind of right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, like you said, but I know. I don't like some of the business part, I put it mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. But by me learning the game, I look at this shit like it's just business. It's yeah. business. So yeah. just soak the game in mm -hmm. and do business one day, do mm -hmm. the same business. So mm -hmm. 
Because mm. I, I shoot big videos and sometimes I have to handle so much business by the time it's time to shoot the video, I'd be exhausted. I'd be like, yeah, damn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just want to shoot a video. Oh, my God, but you got to have that get their bed out the way or you will turn their just shooting the video to a disaster. You're going to take her to bed in the park. Exactly. How much do you think you spend on image a month? What do you mean? Like, give me an estimate on how much you spend on your clothes a month. Like, I'm the type of nigga throughout the week or when I'm just in the hood chilling, I black pants show at Dell, black pants, fitted hat, black uh, white tee, black TJ, some shit mm -hmm. like that, jacket or or Nike fit, faucet jacket all week. Or some coming up type shit or occasion or something. I go put this shit on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or, or if it's just one of them day I'm bored and that shit to do, I go spend a bank roll on some clothes uh -huh. just to upload a picture for my fan. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But if you mean by like monthly, how, like monthly. how much I, you saying how much I like, spend? Like, like a ballpark figure of how much you think you spend a month on clothes. Probably, I don't know. Every time I go shopping for I spend a bank roll. I spend. 20, 30. Over edge, yeah, over, every time I go shopping, I spend nothing less than 10, 15, 000, oh, every damn. time. So you probably be in the 40s or the 50s a month. And I, you know, we ain't got by us not having no malls in Memphis really. They sell no Gucci, no Louis. So when we there, we got to uh, uh, go on you know get that shit. So when a nigga mm -hmm. have to go so hand or I, I take off from Memphis, go to Nashville then. You mm -hmm. know what I'm mean? saying? But it depends on if I'm in Atlanta about. About three, four months. Oh, I'm spending a bank roll. <laughs> I swear you. Like every day I wake up, so it just depends. Like it depends on I'm thugging in Memphis. I don't spend that much on clothes because I don't really buy unless I got a show or something on the weekend. Mm -hmm. But if I'm in the A, I'm probably spending probably about six to seventy thousand on clothes a month. Like if I'm in the A, three months. But if, but just say I'm three months in Memphis, nigga, I ain't spending that much on clothes. Probably like exactly thirty or forty thousand or something. Exactly. Three months. Mm -hmm. mm, shit like that. Yep. So what city, when you go to that motherfucker and perform, you be like, man, every time I come here, they go bananas. I just love going to this city. Shit, St. Louis for sure. I swear, bro. They gonna go bananas <laughs> in St. Louis. Both of the Carolinas, they gonna go bananas. Uh-huh. And Virginia. Mm-hmm. Of course they love a nigga in Mississippi. Like they 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 go a wall in Mississippi, but mm -hmm. it's like by a nigga show price shit going up so much, Mississippi can't really get a nigga. But mm -hmm. me and my manager, we've been thinking about we gonna work some shit out where like my show price it is what it is, but it's gonna be a set show price for them small markets who can't really afford me and it's gonna be like a certain time, like since they can't mm -hmm. give me my full price, mm -hmm. I'ma let them give me what they got, just say they got 20, 30,000, mm -hmm. just say they got 25, 20,000, some shit like that. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna get them no full show. I might get them like two, three songs, post mm -hmm. up, and get out of there type shit. <laughs> For real. Before doing a full show and, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. You, know, you try you to do. work with them though. Yeah, yeah. What have you learned about being around bag? Shit, like, just keep going and shit, and being around, like, his worth ethic really. That's the, like, bro got a hell of a work that they like. Mm -hmm. He stay in this studio, keep working and shit, so. Mm -hmm. That's really what I learned from staying around, keep working and shit, work like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You like, you prefer loyalty or love? I prefer loyalty. Mm -hmm. I prefer loyalty. Mm -hmm. Cause people that love you hurt you the most. <laughs> Man. That's how you get hurt. You don't think about it, you don't get hurt by nobody that you don't love. Cause you don't, don't care. Cause how can you hurt me if I don't love you or don't, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, like you. Mm -hmm. So if I don't love you or like you, that means we don't have no communication or nothing. So it's really nothing you can do to hurt me. So really mm -hmm. I prefer love over love. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Do you think Memphis is the hottest? Did I say that right? Really I prefer loyalty over love. Yeah, I prefer yeah. Loyalty over love. yeah. You think Memphis, you think they just catching on to our sound? I wouldn't say they just catching on. I just say they starting to back to accept yep. our type of music. Yep. Cause yep. they been catching on to our slang. Mm -hmm. Got it. Three City Mafia, A Ball, M J and G. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Player Fly, Z Zilla, and like exactly. they been knowing our. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna say they just catching on. I say they just starting to back to accept it. Cause just like for like a couple, four, five years ago, music we don't really just. 
you had a little gangster gangster rap in there or, mm-hmm. or drill music, whatever they called it in there, but it was more of some mumble rapping and you know what I'm saying, different type of <laughs> yeah. uh, just some different type. I don't want to name call us or say nothing out and yeah. they take you know how the media take shit the wrong way. But mm-hmm. I said like four or five years ago, it wasn't just that raw like I feel like we opened that door back up for motherfuckers to give them their raw street 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, what do, if, if we in a studio session with 30, like, what's some things that you gotta have in these studio sessions? All right, I'll tell I gotta, for some reason, I gotta have my nigga in them in there. Like, I gotta have, you know what I'm saying, my nigga in them in there. Probably some weed or something, sit the bath, some drink. I'm just saying, like, before, you know what I'm saying, I got in my little situation I'm in right now where yeah. I can't. Uh-huh. Probably some weed, drink, you know what I'm saying, my whole little setup, the game. Put a game or something in that motherfucker and mm-hmm. just, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. This is all I really, this is all I really need. Probably all my jewelry and shit might have to get fresher hair. Uh-huh. Just so I can look at myself. Oh, yeah, and some money. Break out a bankroll, <laughs> just a large, just a this, large this, amount of money. Just, to, right just so I can pop it and feel good, some uh-huh. shit like that, yeah. How important structure is to you? Very important. <laughs> very important. Very. Very. Structure very important to me. That's what's hurting a lot of people. You gotta get your structure right, man. Gotta have structure. Uh huh. You don't got no structure. It can, shit, it can be a disaster quick. Shit can fall mm-hmm. down fast. Managers important. You know what I'm saying? Assistance. All oh, this shit is important, bro. Yeah, hey, yeah, shit important. Cause I forget a lot of shit if it weren't for my assistant. And you know if you will forget a lot of shit, who you do what you think? Exactly. The fans and the world. Yeah, so exactly. If you ain't consistent or don't got no structure, uh-huh. motherfucker forget about your ass. Like, nah, man, for real. It could be the next thing, hot buzz and fat. Uh-huh. It's new, it's new motherfucker, hot buzz, uh-huh. fat. Like you just tell me, like off the TikTok shit, uh-huh. I wasn't even tuned in to this shit. They saying. Like you said, 15 seconds, it turns your life. I don't even seconds. have no TikTok where well, I ain't even know this how motherfuckers was just getting that. Yeah, mind. getting their ass in. I ain't even know this. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have every, you gotta work every free social media. make me a TikTok. He's making one soon after this. We're gonna make sure of it. Yeah, dude. No more. For the show. We can make my TikTok. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> we can one made my TikTok. Hey, how much you, how much you spent on your mouth, man? My teeth are like 40,000. John and Don. It just be seen like your shit just be hitting different. Yeah. <laughs> With the, the chain. Like, how much you think you just spent all in jewelry? Like, in jewelry, I, I ain't even got all my jewelry on right now, but. Teeth on everybody. So, probably got like. 400, 450, some shit mm-hmm. like that. Damn. Like that. Some people might not see 400,000 in their whole lifetime. Because just my teeth and these watch, 85,000. By itself. So that's already 100. You done, man? You talking about that in the Cartier? Yeah, my teeth in this Cartier. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That's a new, they ain't seen that one right there. And I got my, what my purple brand? Now, listen, I just got this one today. I was talking about that watch. It watch. Oh, it was a birthday girl. Yeah, I ain't seen that one. Really, my homeboy watch. Mm-hmm. A nigga bought a bag, bought a phone for his birthday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you balance your personal life and the music business? Shit, personal life and the music business. How do I balance it? Shit. I don't know. He really. That's the golden you know, question. He really. He really. You really can't balance this shit because you can try to balance it, but everybody around you all music. Ain't no more your personal. You don't have a personal life no more. I, I can't live the regular me no more. Everybody make it about music. It, it, I got a select free probably like a handful of people who still treat me like regular me and I can live my regular life around them. But like family member, friend, I'm talking about my Ops, everybody, they don't even look at a nigga, they look at a nigga as a rapper now. Just mm-hmm. everybody a rapper, rapper now. And they, like, it don't even matter what you done to a nigga, and now I'm a rapper. Or it don't matter 
if a family member didn't like me at first or didn't want me to come over by me being a rapper and that everything all cool, you'll break your neck for me, do whatever, everything, yes. And friends, niggas being yes, man, nigga had doing whatever for you, call any time of the day. They getting there, like that type of shit scare me. And I'm knowing you wouldn't do that if, if I want to rap it. That's some real shit. It'll be hell nah, I'm in the bed. Right now, it'll be, where you at? I'm finna pull up right now. You know, I'm one call away. I love you, bro. Every time y'all find love, motherfucker ain't told me they love me that many times, never in my life. I, I, it ain't so got I really point. can't tell you how yeah. do I balance my music life, my personal life, because it ain't even a balance no more. It's like music. You know what I'm saying? And they took over the motherfucker. they just, everybody just, uh -huh. I only care about this rapper, see this fame, this money. So when somebody say, you got difference when people say love, I love you. When motherfuckers say I love, like, what's the difference in it? Like, shit, if you ask <laughs> love, me, when I, I, I bro, love. If you ask me, shit, I love you, a nigga mean it. Yeah. But love, nigga don't mean it. Or love you, nigga don't mean it. Cause I remember, I remember back then, myself fucking out with the hoes and shit. The hoes say I love you, and I tell them I love you too. <laughs> when say I love you too, or a nigga who I know don't know me or nothing, say I love you, bro. I uh, love. Just say love, cause it's love, but I don't love you. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? It's love, uh -huh. but I don't love you. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. so, that's the difference between love and I love you. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? What up, baby? Thank you for yeah. coming, pulling up on me. You just got boxed in, man. Appreciate you telling me social media, even though they know it anyway. Hey, brr, brr, man. Everybody go follow me on Instagram. It's the same as my old Instagram. I just got hacked. CEO Big 30. And shit, my Twitter is spell out. It's Big 30. B I G T H I R T Y 375. And shit. And, and TikTok on the way. And TikTok on the way. We're going to get you. We're going to get up with you with that. Sure. Brr. Free shots.